The resources in general available to the small and mid-sized businesses are more limited than, than those available to the larger corporations, yet the internet or I would say the threatscape out there doesn't make any distinctions, so we all face the same threats, but the means to defend ourselves are different, so it's slightly more challenging for the mid-sized organizations. It looks a bit like an almost unsurmountable challenge to the mid-sized businesses. Uh, we, we have a cat and, and mouse or tug of war actually going on between, uh, on the one hand, uh, organized cybercrime and on the other hand, security professionals that the larger corporations are able to employ. Uh, and uh, the fallout from all of this is, is there's an, an, an increasing amount of ever more sophisticated attacks that also now affect the mid-sized businesses, but these, these uh, organizations don't have the means to put up the same defenses as the big ones, so they're actually a lot more exposed uh, to those threats. The small and medium businesses should not, uh, should not uh, give up hope. Actually, the, it, it's not technology that is the challenge. Um, we have, I would say, a variety of really good products out there that, that can help. Uh, the challenge that, that those organizations face, however, is that uh, the usability of these products uh, is not always given for a non-specialist operator. Uh, typically we have a non-specialist, a non non-security specialist IT administrator that needs to run those. Uh, and, and this can be challenging and without trainings, elaborate trainings, and typically there's no time to send somebody away for a week's training. Uh, just to cover a small topic uh, if that person is responsible for the entire IT infrastructure. There's an, there's a, there is in, in essence a chance to actually combine, I would say, the, the high quality of enterprise-grade products uh, with user interfaces that have been optimized for the more mid-market type buyer. That means it's, uh, there's a lot of pre-configuration has been done behind the scenes. So the product is actually usable out of the box. Uh, you should be able to configure uh, and, and set the, the essential security controls without actually having to go to a training. So a couple of hours and you're up and running. Uh, and this is more like in, in line with the iPhone paradigm, so to speak. That's in, uh, speaking of firewalls, it would be an iFirewall. Uh, and that's all doable, and I think this is something we've been doing for uh, quite some time now, just combining enterprise-grade technology with mid-market uh, usage concepts in a package, uh, attractively priced, and, and thus I think there's, there's a lot of hope. Plus on top, uh, of course, we make use of the threat intelligence we have from all the other products in the company. Uh, and uh, the products here also benefit from this, they just process this kind of information and thus provide better protection. Uh, out of the box, and part of this actually comes in through cloud type infrastructures. No, I think there's, there's hope on the horizon. Uh, I think if, uh, uh, if, if you go for products that are intelligent, that are, I would say, powerful, that have an enterprise security core, uh, and at the same time make, I would say, diligent and, and wise use of cloud technology, and you just define for yourself how far you want to go. It's all fine. The other thing is we have to see the whole thing or, or just think it a little bit bigger. It's not just about IT security alone. So security actually is, is more than just the IT security part that, that protects you against or puts up safeguards against attacks. Uh, we have also to make sure that we can actually, that the company actually is able to communicate, to access the critical data that it has on its network, that it can communicate with the internet. So that is a connectivity story or a communication protection story. And of course, um, on, the data, on the data protection side, the, the key data to an organization needs to be backed up as well. So I think in Barracuda Networks um, actually provides all three of these. Uh, we protect against attacks from the outside, we make sure communication keeps flowing, we protect your data, uh, and uh, all these products can actually make use of cloud technologies. So this is sort of a, a, a hybrid philosophy we have. Uh, we, I think we are in line with IDC here. IDC reckons that, uh, that cloud usage has some very convincing advantages cost-wise. Um, Feasibility-wise, it's fairly easy. Uh, time to market or deployment uh, is, can be a very short, so that can be a very attractive option, especially when, you're, uh, when your staff count in, uh, in IT is not that large and you actually have to sort of be a bit nimble about things. Um, 
in the end, uh, if you have highly uh, confidential or critical data, you might have a different approach here for that kind of data. But I think, by and large, cloud is the way to go in the future. Uh, something that people have universally adopted. IT security is maybe a bit lagging behind. But we, as Barracuda uh, Networks, actually, I think, are spearheading the whole thing here and are slightly ahead of the pack. 